hope everyone is doing well. Um, man, it's an amazing morning, an amazing day. Uh, very grateful for today. I uh, hope everyone is doing pretty well. Um, welcome to the Get Fit Mind, Body, and Soul. So I just want to start the morning off again with a scripture, two scriptures that I do have here. Uh, today we'll be talking about the effects of alcohol and uh, what it can do to your body and then my personal experience with it. So the first scripture is Romans 12, 12, sorry, Romans 12 and 2, uh, New International Version. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. And the second scripture is 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, the Amplified Version. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ that is grafted in, joined to him by faith in him as Savior, he is a new creature, reborn and renewed by the Holy Spirit. The old things, the previous moral and spiritual condition, have passed away. Behold, new things have become, sorry, behold, new things have come because spiritual awakening brings a new life. So I just want to also do a prayer. And um, this is going to be a part of my show because this is what the Lord wants me to do. And I'm just thankful to be used by God. So um, get fit, mind, body, and soul is everything. So if you're just joining in. It's mental, physical, and spiritual. So uh, thank you, Father God, for this morning. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for the people that are a part of You, Me Radio, every person, everyone behind the, the screen, um, every person that created uh, You, Me Radio, every person that is on the weekend show, every guest that is on the weekend show, every person that's participating and speaking, every person that's watching in, we're just grateful for you. And uh, we're thankful that the Lord woke us up this morning given us strength, and that he can always renew our mind, renew our day, renew our spirit uh, when we aren't having the best days or uh, old things that have passed away. When we think about them, he can always renew us and give us the strength that we need. So I'm grateful and thankful for the Lord doing that. He is a great God, and he'll never let you down. So if there's anybody out there that needs the Lord and needs encouragement um, and hearing this prayer, we're just thankful that you're listening and tuning in and God hears you. So if you don't know who to go to or where to go to, you can always go to the Lord and speak to him and just make your requests known uh, and just be anxious for nothing. So trust the Lord, trust in yourself, believe you can do it and God can do anything. He'll protect you, cover you, bring you out of things that you can't bring yourself out of. And remember that strength that you do have is the strength that he gave you. And sometimes we need to operate in his strength because we can't do it no more with our own strength. So remember that supernatural strength comes from the Lord. And if you're fighting and trying to push through, just give it to God. But we're thankful and grateful and we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. So I want to bring the article from Healthline, um, Healthline article. This is an article that was uh, created in September 18th, 2018. I think it's September 18th, September 2018 for sure. Um, and it just talks about the effects of alcohol on how it can damage your body. Uh, you know, it talks about uh, how it affects your pancreas and the insulin that the pancreas produces. So um, if you look at this screen right here, it tells you all the effects that it has on your body. So it affects your brain. It does damage to your brain. I mean, it just, it's, it's amazing to see that it can do that. I have my notes right here on my phone as well. Um, but it does damage. It, gives, it can give you heart disease. 
muscle atrophy, um, liver damage, pancreas damage, uh, the ability to think clearly, um, you know, loss of memory to remember uh, long term memories. It, it, it'll be hard for you to remember those things. Um, erectile dysfunction, infertility in women. So drinking alcohol can affect a lot of things in your body. And, you know, the main thing that I seen was just how it can cause low blood sugar, hypoglycemia, and high blood sugar, hyperglycemia. And it's just amazing to see that, you know, what alcohol can do when you really look and you read everything that it can do, it really does more damage to your body than good. Um, so circulatory system, it can affect your heart, your lungs, it can give you heart disease, it gives you heart damage, heart failure, uh, difficulty with the blood circulating in your body, um, it can cause tingling in your body, I mean, it's just so many things, it affects your central nervous system, it's just so many things that uh, that it can affect. As you scroll down, it'll show a little bit more. Uh, as we scroll down, it shows more um, about that. Uh, but I just really, I'm amazed to see this because I myself, you know, I used to drink alcohol and it was just a normal thing to do. So for me, I thought it was just like, okay, let's have fun. It was, a, it was a high that you, you can get. And, you know, people do it all across the world. But just to see the damage that it does and the effect that it does have on your organs and your, your muscles, it thins out your bones. I mean, it's, it's crazy. I mean, it just does a lot of damage. And I think about all the times that I went out, all the times that I drank. I'm like, wow, I was doing damage to my body. So um just living uh in Christ and changing what my perspective is on how I want to live it just makes me um understand that my body is a temple and we must nourish our body so nourish our body mentally nourish our body physically nourish our body uh, spiritually so that's reading the word, eating the right food, and um, hearing the right things, and understanding the right things, and speaking positive, speaking life uh, into my life, speaking life into others. So just reading that, man, like right here, damages pain. Okay, so here's what the pancreas does. I have it in my notes. It's uh, from Healthline. It says, helps regulate body insulin uh, use in response to glucose. Your liver uh, it helps. It affects your liver, and if it's not pro uh, functioning properly, you run the risk of uh, experiencing low blood sugar. Damaged pancreas may also prevent body from producing enough insulin to utilize sugar. So it's just, you know, it, it, it's amazing to me. Um, to see what this does and it doesn't I don't judge anybody if they are drinking now I mean, it's their choice um, I have friends that do and I don't mind it it's fine they want to have fun but just for DeAndre I know I can't do that that's something that has affected me uh, in my past it has affected me it's gotten me in trouble I mean it's just so many things in my body, like just even having that experience, how it says it tires out your body. Uh, you have low energy, uh, just remembering things. It does damage to your frontal lobe of your brain. So it just does more harm than good. And now just actually reading and seeing it, I'm just like, DeAndre, what are you doing? You know, and I know this is a breakthrough and a push through for me. Uh, because I've actually been talking about this this week, about my own experience to, you know, my dad in California, um, friends, you know, people that I'm seeing at the gym, and, you know, it's no judgment, it's just support, 
uh, support through it. So for me, um, I haven't drank in a year. It's been a year now. So I stopped drinking and, you know, I would I was a social drinker, drinking on the weekends, going out, or casual drinker, however you want to call it. I would go out and drink um, with friends, um, friends, mostly my friends. My family doesn't, well, at least my mom and dad, they don't drink. Um, but I would go out with my friends often, and you know it was fun. But just having those experiences and understanding that that's not what God wanted me to do that he had a bigger purpose for me and that he needed me to be um, high off his spirit, that I needed the spirit of God to be inside of me to go where he said I can go. And that truly changed me, changed my life right there in that moment, just making that decision. Um, I think I was having a, my own personal battle. I believe I was having my own personal battle with that because I was giving myself the go ahead and okay, like, oh, well, I'm doing fine. It's okay for me to go and drink. But then on the other side, I'm like, well, I probably shouldn't be doing it. So I would be going back and forth on whether I should drink or not. And just seeing how, um, just making that decision changed my life for the better. That's a part of my testimony. Part of my testimony is, when I stopped, God let me go. And that's how I moved to Tennessee. That's how I moved to Memphis. That's how I got out here because the Lord allowed me to go. Once I let something go, he let me go. And ever since then, it's just been great. I've been blessed. I've been thankful. I've been grateful that he brought me out of something that I couldn't bring myself out of. And when I made that choice, he let me go. And the spirit of God had just been filled inside of me. Um, just being sober minded is able to help me think clearly, of course. And just understanding that. Um, so are you always this positive and kind of seeing? Yes, yes, I believe so. Um, just my childhood experiences. Again, I've always been like obedient. I've always been obedient. I've always been that humble person as a kid. And I knew I couldn't do things that other people uh, would do. And of course, as I got older, you know, started going out, doing those things with family and, family and friends. You know, if I had my family that was drinking, I would drink with them, but um, just doing that and got away from it. So part of it probably from playing in the NFL, you know, just being around that type of environment. And let me see what the worst drinking I'm posting. Worst drinking experience. It wasn't really like how much I drank. It was more so of, uh, you know, just just getting in trouble, getting pulled over. I think that was my worst experience. And I'm not ashamed to say it because it doesn't define who I am. It's just something that I went through to get through it so God can bring me out of it. So um, I think it's a, a personal release for me and a let go because have I been afraid to talk about it to people sometimes? But you know, this is who I am. My name is DeAndre Burrell. I am a connected, trust, and vulnerable leader. Um, and uh, again, 2 Corinthians uh, 5 and 17, the old things have gone. So the old things have gone, and that's in the past. So uh, we all must move forward. And sometimes God gives us a reminder of what it feels like. So he can keep preparing us to move forward. He wants to see if he can trust us, if he can give us what we've been asking for. And when I give it to you, will you be able to handle it? So I always tell God, and I'm saying it now, live on the camera, God, you can trust me. 
with everything that you're going to give me and I trust you. So, um, you know, I, I look at how much of a, an effect it had on me and I think about all those times. I'm like, wow, it did affect me. And maybe I didn't think of it at that time. Uh, I didn't think it affected me at that time, but it actually did. So, um, just understanding that no one's perfect. So even if you're on this radio show right now, I'm not perfect. I was not perfect. I wasn't born perfect. And it's okay to make mistakes. Uh, because when you make mistakes, you can either learn from them or you could just live in them. And I chose to learn from it. So whatever it is that you're struggling with, um, you can always make that decision. You can always learn. You can always choose to do what's best for you, what's best for the moment, and what God wants for you. So me not drinking anymore, I'm just grateful and I'm thankful for it because I see how God is moving in my life and I wouldn't have it any other way. So I trust him and I love him and I'm thankful for that. Um you know, I think about how the NFL, you know, NFL, uh, some guys don't know how to handle um, that lifestyle or don't know what to do. So I really hope that um, the NFL comes up with the program. Maybe I'm the person coming up with the program, but to be able to talk to all the young athletes and uh just speak to them how I'm speaking to everybody right now about uh, alcohol and what it can do and just being able to be responsible. Um, you know, the, the one of the athletes, second year athlete, uh, Henry Ruggs, just that uh, accident is a tragedy for the person that passed away and himself. And that just comes along with just being responsible and accountable and sometimes we need people to hold us accountable and to be there because at the end of the day, um, when you're just going into that lifestyle, you're still a kid. Sometimes people's mindsets are still kids. You're 22, 23 years old. You're still a kid. And you don't know the consequences until something like that happens. So it's just important to... Uh, guide the young men and speak to them and let them know that there's an outlet. Let them know what's available. Let them know that you don't have to do that and just let them know the effects of drinking and what it can cause because the main thing, you could take your own life when you drink as well as other people. But it's just we don't think about that. You know, people in the world, we're not thinking about that. We're thinking about self and uh, how much fun we can have and that can affect your life in that moment by making that decision. So, you know, if anybody is struggling with that, then um, you can always, you can always make that choice. You can always get on, get fit, mind, body, and soul. We could talk about it and, uh, you know, possibly be my guest. You know, so I'm not opposed to anybody being my guest. And uh, remember, it's mind, body, and soul, physical, mental, spiritual. So uh, it'll be a blessing to hear other people's stories and how they came out of things and giving their testimony about their life and how their, their, their life changed. So I'm very grateful for that. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining. So the effects of alcohol just for me personally, right? Um, just with my body, I can give you that experience as well. Uh, my body just, I would, I would do it and I would wake up and I'll still go work out. And it just, the energy wasn't there. The uh, coordination wasn't there. Just the mindset wasn't there. Maybe I felt better afterwards, but, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't good. And, um, you know, it dehydrates you too. So <clears throat> think about that. 
you know, I think about that, just drinking and dehydrating my muscles and going out running or working out. Yeah, you're sweating. And you think it feels good, but you're you're already dehydrated and now you're dehydrating even more. So that can cause injury to your body. You could pull muscles. Um, you could tear muscles. It, it could just do a lot to you. So, um, and just the mind thing, just, you know, for those that, that have drank, you know, you drink too much, you get a headache. You drink too much, uh, you're sleeping in, you don't have energy. So it just affects you all around. And, and for me, that wasn't good for DeAndre. That wasn't good for DeAndre Burrell because it didn't help me. It just did more damage than good. So I'm just grateful and thankful that God has brought me out and he can uh, trust me in this season and keep trusting me. And just the way God, again, is just using me, I'm just very grateful. Um, I believe that every decision matters and that um, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the decision. I wouldn't be here on you and me radio either. This opportunity wouldn't have even been presented because God wouldn't have presented it. So I'm grateful for coming out of that. So just remember, one choice can change your life for the rest of your life. And, uh, God just wants you to make that simple decision sometimes. Sometimes it's just a simple decision. It may seem like it's hard, but it's really, once you say yes to yourself, uh, the doors will just bust wide open. God will pour out those blessings. So I'm grateful and thankful. Um, we just don't have much to say anymore. I mean, you know, if anyone has any questions um, about their experience, or questions or statements, and what they would like to say about what's affected them in their life, it may not be drinking. It can be anything. It could be eating wrong. It can be um, coming out of something physically, mentally, spiritually, a battle that they had, struggles that they've had. What has been your worst dream? Okay, yeah, I answered that. The physical capacity was just gaining weight. I've gained weight. I gained weight when I was drinking. So it has those calories and you put on that weight and that did not look good for me. So um, I'm grateful and thankful for the choices that I've made now because my body now feels great. Um, I probably weigh about 185 pounds now. Usually, excuse me, when I play, I weigh about 194. But now weighing 185, a lot lighter, leaner, uh, more cut, just feeling good. Yes. So, you know, uh, you know, food, that's another thing, you know, eating food, you want to be able to just control that, you know, control it and understand it. And shoot, I even have that too. Sometimes with food, cookies, I like to eat cookies a lot. I think we have our own addictions. Work is one. Yeah, definitely. Because we're so uh, we create a habit and then we create a lifestyle. So creating a habit is 21 days. Creating a lifestyle is 90 days. So when we think about that, you know, we create a habit in 21 days and now we're just continuing to do it. Now we can make it a lifestyle. That's our thoughts. That's our work life. That's our family life. That's our friends. That's social media. That is spending money. It's everything. So 90 days creates a lifestyle. 21 days a habit so we can always change and we can't do it by ourselves to be honest we need a team we need leadership we need people to hold us accountable and hold ourselves accountable when we are weak you know God will make us strong and when we're weak sometimes you know the people that are around us surrounding us can help us it's interesting I can say between alcohol. I mean, I know there's like programs for um, alcohol. Um, I haven't been to one, but there's programs for that. Um, and I just think 
just having that support, you know. Um, you know, I have a friend, and uh, I love him, you know, and, and the main thing I can do is pray for him and just be there for him, support. And we're rooting for him. So if you're watching this, bro, we're rooting for you. We're rooting for you. We're cheering for you. We got your back. God got your back. The people on you and me radio have your back. So um, we're rooting for you, bro. And he lives out here in Tennessee. So um, we love you and I'm rooting for you. So um, it's just amazing on what God can do. And, you know, I know through prayer, God has changed a lot of my life. So if anything, just give it to God. And God will send the people to you. So just get fit, mind, body, and soul. I know uh, it's been a lot of me talking. And uh, next week, I may have a part two with Shannon Maillard, who was here last week. So I may have a part two with Shannon. I want to continue the conversation with him. Uh, but I'm very thankful for everybody that is on the show. Thankful for everybody that's creating the show. And, and I mean, you know, I'm going to end it with prayer. I started with prayer. I'm going to end it with prayer. So thank you, Father God, for this moment in time. Thank you for you and me radio on the weekend show. We're grateful and thankful for this opportunity. Anybody that has an addiction, anybody that is struggling with alcohol, anybody that is struggling with, um, with anything, with any type of drug, struggling with relationships, struggling with relationship with you guys, struggling with their family, struggling with their wives, their girlfriends, with work, God, and putting those things before you, we ask that you send somebody, speak your word to them so they can hear you, so we can all hear you and make that conscious decision of giving it to you, God, because we can't do it ourselves. We're, we're strong people because you created us. We're powerful people, but at times we're weak. So God, you make us strong. So God, when we can't do it in our own strength, we ask that we give it to you in your strength to make it happen, to bless us, and to remove and release it from us. So God, everyone that's on this call, everyone that is hearing in on this show, we ask that you release the things that are not serving them, including myself, whatever is not serving me, for me to release and let go and to be joyful, to be happy, to be loving and continue to grow as a man, as a woman, and as a man of God and a woman of God so we can see the blessings that you have for us. So we're thankful and grateful. In the name of Jesus, we pray and thank you. Amen. So, uh, thank you guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, share to your friends, your family. Uh, this is you and me radio. This is the weekend show. This is get fit, mind, body, and soul. Everyone have a blessed day, a blessed evening, a blessed week. Trust yourself, trust God, and believe you can do it. And all it takes is one decision. So make that decision no matter how hard it is, no matter how hard it feels, God will bring you out of it. So thank you very much. Have a blessed day. Apostle Dr. Faith Walters and Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries presents our annual Thanksgiving Community Outreach Drive. So I'm, I am hoping and praying that you will, uh, those who can donate some uh, finances or donate some uh you know, packs of food. I do dry food if the packs, little packs, you know, let the Lord move in your heart if you want to do that. Or you could send the, the donation to the ministry and I could take care of it that way. It's our annual Thanksgiving Community Outreach Drive. And that would be held on Tuesday, November 16, 2021. And it's going to be at my usual spot. 34-56 East, 3rd Street, Mount Vernon, New York. The time is 2 p.m. to 3.30. And of course, it's while supplies last. And, um, you know, uh, in 2 Corinthians 9, 7 says, For God loves the person who gives cheerfully. So we enjoy giving 
in this ministry as part of what we do connected to the community. So again, invite uh, people to come out on Tuesday, November 16th, uh, 2021 for our, our annual Thanksgiving community outreach drive. I don't give out turkeys because I don't have any facilities for that. So I just do what God put on my heart. I mostly give dry goods. So you'll be able to have a meal for most likely for a day or two or even last a week. You know, I have little things in the packages that I give out and it's a pleasure doing that. So I'm just grateful to the Lord that we're able to do this on a monthly basis to help the community. So, and, you know, continue to spread the love of Jesus and continue to spread the word of the Lord because God. God's word has to go forth by any means necessary. So I'm grateful to the Lord for that. And I, I'm just really excited about what he's doing. I have the the first book, Poems About My Self-Esteem. That's uh, It's on the website. It's on there for $12. And it's help you if you have problems with low self-esteem. This book will certainly help you and touch you and make your life change. Okay, so I have one here that says, what is a smile? A smile lights up your day. It makes your face bright. It sends sunshine when there is pain. So, ah, always keep a smile even when you're having a bad day. Smile a little, it makes the world go around. So even as you are going through, yes, girl, I was still smiling and going on same way. All right, when I'm in pain, yes, yes, yes. So this is a powerful uh, book. The, 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 the poetry is very uh, short and to the point, but even though they're short, they're deep. So you got to take some time to really think about them and, and just get them in your spirit and let, let it get deep down in you and, and for you to really understand, you know, what it's trying to say to you. All right, and I have my my new book that that came out uh, in July, and the book is Reborn, and, and this book is, is just talking about the personal story about my journey from a place of despair, my place of darkness, to fulfilling God's purpose in my life. This book is also transform your life as well. It will make your life different. It it, it, it shares. Uh, uh, some, uh, not even uh, all of it, just some uh, a synopsis of some of the things I experienced while growing up in the church and growing up in, in a family, you know, that I thought loved me and didn't realize uh, that I, I had to do it by myself, but because of God, he helped me to get through it to bring me to a place of where I am today. So I am just book is to encourage you that if you are in a place of darkness and you are, are surrounded by people who are supposed to love you and they don't show you, demonstrate that love, know that God is there for you. And take some time to pen your thoughts because you never know who's going to pick up your book one day. When you're gone from this, when it time has come, you're gone from this world. You're leaving legacies. These are things you're leaving behind for, for your loved ones to read and you never know who will pick it up wherever they are and we have the, the the supernatural highway now that's everywhere you know so you know you'd be surprised where people find words that can help them